Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look again at the ASUS Transformer Book T100, and in particular its Atom Z3740 processor, and comparing it to a previous generation Intel chip, uh, the first generation Core i5, uh, in this case the 660 chip, one of the higher end i5 desktop chips, to see how they compare mostly in graphics performance, as this is something which I've been quite impressed with on the latest Atom. Um, on paper it looks like this should go quite easily to the i5. We can see CPU wise the Atom has double the number of cores but the Westmere cores have hyper threading and also run at much higher clock speeds. Uh, in fact more than double for the base clock and almost double the turbo speed. And on graphics on paper as well it looks like the older system should also have the advantage here. We've got a much higher TDP, uh, 73 watts available to the i5 versus 2 watts SDP and in my measurements it works out about 4 watts max power draw for the Atom but we also have 3 times the number of execution units or shader units um, and also a higher clock speed for the older part. Where the Atom could potentially have an advantage however is it has a later generation of Intel HD graphics, Generation 7 as found in Ivy Bridge chips, uh, which brings with it DirectX 11 support as opposed to just DirectX 10. To test graphics performance we've used Unigine Heaven here running on the Atom on the left and the Core i5 first generation on the right. Both are running identical settings with low detail and tessellation disabled. Um, on the Atom, tessellation is disabled because we are obviously turned it off, uh, running in DirectX 11 mode. However, obviously the Core i5 can't support DirectX 11, so is running the DirectX 9 code path. Um, performance is actually very close between the two. It's it's near enough identical with both finishing around the sort of seven and a half to eight frames per second mark. Um, so we can see even despite the big difference in clock speed, number of execution units and the amount of power available to the chip, the Atom's actually able to deliver very similar levels of performance, which is quite surprising. Moving on to CPU performance and using our own Lightroom 5 based test, we're carrying out an export here and the Atom doesn't fare so well against the first generation i5. In total, if we let the test run all the way through, which takes some time, we'd be looking at about three times the amount of time for the Atom to complete versus the Core i5. That may seem a lot, but when you think this is a 4 watt chip versus a 73 watt chip, and a desktop part at that versus a passively cooled tablet chip, it's quite impressive how close the Atom can actually come. In fact, if we were looking at the 10 watt Pentium Bay Trail D part, it would be quite likely that this would be in the same range of performance as something like the first generation Core i3 or lower end Core i5s, which is a big improvement when you think just how much less power they use. We hope you found this interesting and for more looks at Baytrail T performance and features of the ASUS Transformer Book T100 please take a look at our, uh, our channel and if you like what we do subscribe.